Okay, fifth grade, lesson 75. And this is on changing improper fractions to a whole or mixed numbers. Now, let me ask you this. Do you remember what an improper fraction is? Um, no. I don't know if I've ever taught it to you. I don't think. Okay, so watch this. This is a proper fraction. Okay. This is an improper fraction. Yeah. What's the difference? Four can't be into three. Just be like one whole and one. Is that how it works? Yes. Very good. Okay. Okay. So this one, I want you to go and write on your own. This is called a proper fraction. Do I write? Mm -hmm. And like they don't. The they fraction? actually even just say that it's just called a fraction. Um, but that's what a proper fraction is. It's just a fraction. Okay. This is called an improper. Something is wrong with it because we have too much on the top. You're supposed to have a small amount, like in a proper fraction, you have a smaller numerator and a larger denominator. Yeah. Here we have a larger numerator and a smaller denominator, okay, which makes it an improper fraction, okay? So what you're going to learn to do today is how to make this correct if it's improper. Got okay. it? So let's take this, this one right here, four-thirds, okay? Now, <clears throat> what I want you to do and help me do, okay, is we're going to use an illustration way the first time. Then okay. I'm going to do it the mathematical way, okay? So let's do the illustration way of four-thirds, okay? okay? How much are my pies broken up into? Three. Very good. So I have a pie right there, and I have one piece, two pieces, three pieces, okay? But I need four, four pieces. So watch what I'm going to do because it's broken up into threes, okay? So now I have one, two, three, four thirds. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what is this really as a proper fraction? One uh, whole. One whole and one third. And one third. Does that make sense to your brain? Yeah. Okay, now let me show you the mathematical way, not the illustrative way. Okay. You tell me which one you like better, okay? If you have an improper fraction, okay. this actually says 4 divided by 3. See how 4? See how 4? Okay, like I was saying, we're going to do the mathematical way of 4 divided by 3. So watch okay. this. 4 divided by 3. Okay. Okay? So we're going to do divide, multiply, subtract, three now, okay? It'll 3 will go into 4 how many times? 1. 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract. Okay? And there's nothing else to bring down, which means... Oh, it's 1, one out of 3. 1 out of 3. Which is the same thing we did as we did the illustration. Oh, that's good. Okay? Cool. So, which way do you like better? Uh, Probably mathematical. Yeah, it's kind of quicker. Mm -hmm. Okay? But let's do this one. You know, let's do the... Um, I'm going to put 8 thirds. Let's do the illustration. I'm going to put I-L-L. -L. And then let's do the mathematical... On this side. Okay? Okay. Eight thirds. How is each of my pies divided? Um, what do you mean? How oh, into three. Into three. Right, so ready? Something. Okay. So I've got one pie. One, two, three. Have I reached eight? No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Two pies. Six. Three, four, five, six. Need to keep going? Mm hmm. And then probably one more. One, two, like, three, this four, five, six, one. seven, and then eight. eight. So, so it'd be two and two thirds. Very good. I have two holes and then one two out of three. Two and two thirds. Very yeah. good. All right. Now let's do it the mathematical way. Tell me what this actually says. Um, divide eight by three. Eight divided by three. Divided by. Okay. okay. Eight divided by three. Okay. How many times will three go into eight? Um. Two. Very good. Okay. What is three times two? Um, six. Six. Very good. Subtract. Okay. Two. Nothing else to bring down. And then two and two thirds. Two thirds. Very good. So either way, 
say we get two and two thirds. Okay? Yeah. One's quicker, the mathematical way. Yeah. All right. Good job. Now, let's try this. If I told you to add three fifths plus four fifths. Now, let me ask you this. Is this an improper or proper? Um, that's proper. Proper? Improper. Look at this one. They're both proper. They're both proper. But when we add them, okay. Do you remember about the five? What happens to the yeah, five? Then they just stay. They just the stay numbers. the same. Good job remembering that. And then three plus four is seven. Does the answer is it improper or proper? The answer is well, that the answer is improper. Improper. Okay. So how do we make it? Proper, the right way. We have to divide it over. Very good. Okay, so let's do that. Seven divided by five. Seven divided by five. One. One. Two. And then two out of five. One and two fifths. And that's a mixed number. Why is it a mixed number? Because I have a fraction and a whole number. Yeah. So it makes it mixed. Okay? So improper fractions can always be changed into a mixed number. Okay? Mm. All right, let's try one more. Are we going to do illustrative or mathematical? Nope, we're all mathematical now. Okay. Mathematical. Okay. 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 Two and a half plus two and a half plus two and a half. All right. The best way to do this is I like to line it up vertically. Yeah. Okay? So I'm going to line up all my whole numbers. Then I'm going to line up all of my fractions. Okay? So two and a half plus two and a half plus two and a half. Okay? Okay. So, remember when we're adding fractions. That'd be three. Yes, one, two, three. And the two, what happens to it? It, um, what do you mean? Oh, it goes to the top? It, <coughs> this two, you just bring it down, right? Yeah. That's what I we don't add two, four, six. Oh, yeah. Remember? You only add the numerator. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then two plus two plus two? That's, uh, six. Six. Now, you think we're done six and three halves, but we're actually not. Why? I've got an improper fraction. Uh, so it's answered, but not completely simplified. Yeah. Okay. So what should I do with that three halves? Um, we should just do that one. Okay. So I'm going to take this three halves and actually do three divided by two. So let's do that three divided by two. And, and I end up one, getting one and then one. Two. Bring my one up and bring my two over, right? So I got one and a half for this part. So now mm -hmm. I have six holes plus one and a half. So what's my final answer? It would be seven and one and a half, right? Se six? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Very good. Okay. Because that three halves is actually that. I'm going to erase this because that's no longer. So now I have six plus this one and a half, which makes seven and a half. Yeah. Excellent job. That is lesson 75.